Stone Fox by John Reynolds Gardner. One cold day on a potato farm in Wyoming, Little Willie woke up and was very confused as to why Grandfather had not yet called him down for breakfast as he usually did. Every morning, Grandfather would wake up, make a fire and breakfast, and yell to Little Willie, Hurry up, or you'll be eating with the chickens! Little Willie climbed out of bed and walked to Grandfather's room to discover that he was still in bed. The only explanation he could think of was that Grandfather was playing a trick on him. Little Willie said to Grandfather, Get up! I don't want to play this game anymore! After there was no response, he knew something was wrong. He ran outside, grabbed Searchlight, who was an old black dog with a large white spot on her forehead, and headed down the road to get Doc Smith. Once they arrived, Doc Smith quickly gave her diagnosis. Grandfather had given up on life. Although this was hard for Little Willie to hear, he was determined to cure his grandfather. He was determined to do this by harvesting this year's crops of potatoes because he believed that this would cure his grandfather. However, in order to do this, they needed to buy a horse in order to plow. When he opened the savings box, he realized that their family had no money left. No worries though, Searchlight, the family dog, came to the rescue when she placed the harness of the plow into her mouth. Little Willie and Searchlight successfully harvested the crop, but when they presented Grandfather with the money, he was still not cured. Why, you may ask? Well, Little Willie soon discovers that Grandfather still owed $500 to the government to pay off 10 years of taxes. If he did not do this successfully, the farm would be taken away. Little Willie remembered what Grandfather had always told him, where there's a will, there's a way. So he began searching for ways to earn money. After Little Willie had asked everyone for their advice, he came across a poster at Lester's General Store that advertised a national dog sled race, and this year's winner just happened to win $500. He quickly decided to enter the race, so he headed down to the City Hall building to sign up. He spoke to Mayor Spally, who advised him not to join because of his competition. Stone Fox. Stone Fox was an Indian man who had won the dog sledding competition for as long as anyone could remember. His dogs were the strongest around and could run for miles. A few weeks later, Stone Fox entered the race, but this did not cause Little Willie to lose hope. He continued to train with Searchlight day in and day out. During his training, word spread throughout the town and before he knew it, it was time for the big race. When he arrived, the whole town was there to see them off. Mayor Smiley raised his pistol into the air, fired, and yelled, Let the race begin! Searchlight took off, almost forcing Little Willie off the sled. They were on their way and already a good distance ahead of the rest of the racers. Because they had ran the trail many times before, Searchlight was used to speeding up at the farmhouse, but this time Little Willie directed her otherwise. As they passed by, Little Willie looked up at Grandfather's window and saw a figure. With a closer look, he realizes that it was Grandfather sitting up in his bed looking out the window. He started to stop the sled, but Grandfather signaled no and motioned for him to continue on. They continued the race and Stone Fox was nowhere in sight. That is, until he made his move. Stone Fox began to pass other racers and went from last place to fourth to third. As they began to get closer to the finish line, Little Willie looked over his shoulder and couldn't believe his eyes. Stone Fox was almost on top of him. Little Willie began questioning why he had not looked back sooner. He began to yell, Go, Searchlight, go! Little Willie and Stone Fox were now neck and neck. Little Willie took the lead, then Stone Fox, then Little Willie, then Stone Fox. They could now see the finish line. Little Willie continued to yell, Go, Searchlight, go! Little Willie began thinking of Grandfather, the farm, and the prize money. Would he finish the race first? Will he win the money and save the farm? Read this book to see if Searchlight, the old family dog, and the determined 10-year-old Little Willie are able to save the farm and, most importantly, cure Grandfather. Created using Powtoon.